What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. I wanted to show you real quick on your YouTube channel how to focus on end screens and annotations. So real quick, you go to the Creator Studios. Basically what end screens are, are at the end of your video, you're going to have something that will be able to pop up on either side of your video and basically that's a call to action. So it gets them lined out or lined up for the next video. There's a few different ways to do it, but basically you will go to edit, edit your video. You're going to see up here in the top bar, info, and, and you used to actually be able to edit these videos on YouTube. That was literally my favorite thing to do, and then they took it and I had to go buy software. <laughs> but that's okay. It, is ended up, it ended up better anyway. So end screen annotations. You have enhancements. I'll show you what that is. Blur faces, custom blurring. I've actually never used either of those. Audio, I never use that because it's just, it just seems very cumbersome. End screen and annotations is what we're looking for. So let's cut the jive. Not gonna do whatever you're talking about there, little buddy. All right, it looks like you can make templates or something like that. Um, that's fine. I tend to just go in and change them every time. If you want to do a template, it might be streamlined. Now you can either do most recent, you can do best for viewer, or choose video or playlist. It's kind of up to you. It obviously depends on the situation. I like to do best for viewer because it could be most recent and it's going to be whatever is like similar tags or something like that. So here's what happens. Pops up. Okay, it's right there. You got to remember this is in the last 20 seconds of your video. I'm not going to let you change it. I'm not going to let you put it further back, whatever. So keep your damn head out of the way of wherever you're going to put the dang thing. Most people will add one element. You can't add the same element twice. I did most re or best for viewer. I can't do best for viewer again. I would have to do most recent or choose a video or playlist. You got it, and you can see the red line. That means it's overlaid. Just grab it, pull it wherever you want, drop it. One cool, more cool thing that you can do is. Looks like you can link to your website. Um, I haven't done that. This is just like a practice channel to show you guys some stuff. But um, subscribe. Add element. Oh, it's there. Okay. So you got the little circle. Subscribe. You can preview it. You can kind of see what it looks like. I apologize. Is not 20% carbs. So 5 to 10% carbs keep them very low. And I was saying 20 carbs because of acting. Blah, 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 blah. Forgive me. So basically, at the end of your video, you're going to say, hey, if you get a chance, or please go check out this video about so and so. And you can point to this area, point to this area, point to the subscribe. And you can pretty much point anywhere as long as you <laughs> place that video. You know, you can place that video here if you're pointing there. You can place it on your face. I don't know. Do whatever you want. So that's it. All right? You just save. Save it. You go back. All changes saved. Go back. And it may or may not be live. Sometimes, sometimes it's not visible right away. Sometimes it takes time to process. But we can check and see if it is. So how many of you guys want to kill me for totally screwing that up? 20% protein, 5% carbohydrates, 75% fat, 70% fat, okay? I'm sorry, I know. I was walking, saying all these numbers, I apologize. It's not... Yeah, so it's not on yet, and that's fine. Usually it takes a couple minutes. For some reason it's processing. I think they're just making sure everything's okay before they go ahead and put it live. So I hope you guys like this video. That's end screens. Oh, also, 
I was going to cover annotations. I'm not sure if annotations still works, but we can go take a look. We can go take a look to see if it works. I know that you can't do both at the same time anymore. Um, they did switch it. So let's see if we can... I don't know how you would delete this. You show grid. Probably here. Edit element. So we'll just take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Alright, annotations. Annotations and end screens can't be used on the same video. Okay, so we're going to save because it thinks they're still there. Annotations. Let's see what they've done to annotations. They used to use these a lot. Ah, yeah, they ended. And that's funny because it's still there, which makes no sense whatsoever. What's as is your ability to do that? Annotations is basically like text overlay. Um, so your text is over your video, but if you have downloaded uh, Wondershare from Mora, it's going to do the same thing. So basically, this is the text. Drop it over your video. Pan it out. You can see. Edit. That's your video. Okay. You can see the text there. Obviously, it's not perfect because of the background. But that you can see the text so that's all annotations was nothing major nothing crazy but just so you know unfortunately you're not going to be able to do it but that is how you do end screens I fully 100% recommend them I've only recently started to incorporate them basically to retain somebody to go watch further or maybe there's another subject that they'd like to know more about and they like your videos so they want to go check that one out as well if you guys like my videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Have a beautiful day. Keep up the good work. Hashtag be stronger than excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.